This is part two of our video series covering the EVO 100, DIG Solar Powered Hose End Irrigation Timer. Today we will go over the basic features and programming steps to set a simple irrigation program. Just like any other irrigation timer, in order to enter a complete watering schedule, there are three modes which must be set by the user. The water days, or watering frequency. The start times, or time of day for the irrigation to occur. The run time, or duration of watering. The timer is programmed by using the five buttons to the left of the display. The target button in the center is pressed to make the display flash or stop flashing. The right and left arrow buttons are used to select the different modes, and the up and down arrow buttons are used to change the numbers up or down or to select the days to water. The display will only change when the selected entry is flashing. But before we program a simple watering schedule, first we need to set the current time and date so the timer will water on the correct days of the week. To do so, press the right arrow button until the current time icon appears in the upper right corner of the display. To set the current hour, press the center target button and the hour digit will flash. Press the up or down arrow buttons to change the number and show the correct current hour. To select AM or PM, just keep pushing the button until the hour passes 12. Next, press the right arrow button to make the minutes flash, and press the up or down arrow buttons to set the minutes and finish setting the current time. Next, the current month, day, and year must be set. Press the right arrow button and the letters MO and a flashing digit will appear on the left side of the display. Press up or down to enter the current month then press the right arrow button again. The center digit will flash, and the word day will appear. Press up or down to change the number to the current day of the month. Finally, press the right arrow button again, and year will appear on the screen. Press up or down to set the last two digits of the current year. The EVO 100 can be programmed to water on specific days of the week, or it can be programmed to water on a cyclical basis once every so many days, or it can be set to water on odd or even numbered days of the month. This video will cover specific days watering only. The advanced frequency options will be covered in part three of this video series. Press the center target button to make the display stop flashing, and then push the right arrow button to enter the water days mode. The set days icon will appear in the left lower corner of the display, and the days of the week will appear on the top of the display. Press the target button and the Monday icon will flash. To deselect Monday, press the down arrow button and the marker under Monday will disappear. To add the marker, press the up arrow to the watering day. Then press the right arrow button to move on to the next day and follow the same procedure to finish setting up your watering days. When you are finished, only the watering days should have a marker under them. Finally, press the target button to lock in the settings and the last day will stop flashing. The next mode to set is the start time. This is the time of day that the watering will occur. The EVO 100 has four start times available to satisfy a variety of scheduling requirements. Press the right arrow button and start one will appear on the left side of the display. Next, press the target button to make the hour digit flash and then press the up or down arrow buttons to change the starting hour. Press the right arrow button again to make the minutes flash and use the same buttons to finish setting start time number one. To set start time number two, press the right arrow button again. Start two will appear on the left and the word off will appear flashing. To activate the second start time, press the up or down arrow buttons and select a start time later than the first. To turn off a start time, Press the up or down arrow buttons while the hour digit is flashing until off appears. Off appears between 11 p.m. and 12 a.m. When finished setting start times, press the target button to lock in the settings and the digits will stop flashing. The next mode to set is the runtime. This is the watering duration or the length of time the irrigation system stays open. Press the right arrow button and the hourglass icon will appear. The display will show the runtime in hours and minutes. The maximum runtime is 5 hours and 59 minutes. To change the runtime, press the target button and the hours will flash. Press the right arrow button again to make the minutes flash, 
then use the up or down arrow buttons to change them. To go back, press the left arrow and the hours will flash again. To set a program for a 15 minute runtime, enter 0 15, 0 hours, 15 minutes. When finished entering the runtime, press the target button to make the display stop flashing, and now the program is complete. The last mode to set is the rain delay. Press the right arrow button and the rain delay icon will appear. For normal operation, the word off should appear. But to set a rain delay, push the target button and off will flash. Press the up arrow button to set the number of days the timer will wait before it resumes watering. If a rain delay is active, the rain delay icon will stay on the screen until it has expired. Press the target button to make the display stop flashing, and then press the right arrow button to set the timer back into the current time mode. There are two additional buttons below the display. The one on the left is the program off button. When this button is pressed, the word off appears and the automatic operations are suspended until the button is pressed again. For automatic operation, leave the controller so the display shows the current time of day. The button under the display on the right is the manual button, which is used to immediately open the timer. When the manual button is pressed, the word on will appear momentarily and the timer will open. The display will show the runtime and the manual run icon. The timer will close when the runtime is finished. To close the timer before that, just push the manual button again. The word off will appear for a moment and then the display will revert to the previous screen. The manual button will function from any screen even when the program is set to off. We've now covered all of the basic programming and functions of the EVO 100. To learn more about the advanced programming options and features of this product, please see part 3 of this video series. Thank you for watching.